Today's video, we're going to be playing an online game of Madden and talking about our decisions, and hopefully you guys can learn from some of the mistakes we make and some of the things we do well. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, uh, my name is Cody, and I want to go ahead and personally take a second here and just thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. If you enjoy what you see today, you may hit that subscribe button. That way that you can find uh, access to some more videos. If you don't enjoy what you see, then I'm sorry, and let me know in the comments what I can do to improve for you. Alright guys, so in our Inside the Mind gameplay series here, we're utilizing the New England Patriots defensive playbook. Um, this guide will be coming out. We actually have some of the basics of the guides are actually already for sale, but uh, you can check that stuff out in the description below, and you're going to get access to all of that content. But um, today we are breaking that down. So Inside the Mind gameplay series, what I really like to do and there we get Moss on the very freaking first play. That's so annoying. Welcome to Madden 16. They just freaking throw those stupid streaks on you. But um, normally what I like to do in the first play of the game is uh, play some coverage. Uh, right there I just kind of went away from my game plan for whatever reason. Ended up getting d dotted first play. But um, you learn from that. And uh, you know, hopefully at some point, hopefully at some point I, I learn from my mistakes. But anyway, um... So we're using the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook. We've actually got that guide coming shortly. Uh, if you just finished up the video content, I just have to put the and the written content. Just got to put it all together now in the in the guide format. Uh, trying a little new thing with the guides this time. Hopefully it'll be a little easier to digest for you. Um, but what I like to do uh, starting out is to come out with just a quick uh, just a quick run. Uh, I personally think the fullback dive is one of the better runs in the game this season uh, just because it's a quick hitting run and it's very hard to stop for negative yardage, especially if it's just like a first and 10 from the 20. And uh, and so what we like to do is we're just going to come out and just run it. Uh, and, and, and I like to motion this receiver over. And this is actually going to set my opponent up for some of the things that I'll be doing with this formation later on in the game just by establishing this I-form uh, tight fullback dive we're able to set up ourselves for a lot of success from there I go ahead and get into uh, my base package and uh, the base offense for this is the shotgun tight offset tight end and uh, we break that down in the ebook and we have over I think over an hour of content on this formation alone and uh, we talk about why I think it's one of the best formations if not the best in the game uh, to start out with but um so right here, uh, my opponent is showing me a cover three shell. So we'll see what we can do against this. Get some nice block shed pressure. That's kind of frustrating, but routes can't develop downfield, and we get we get big uh, we get pressure on that one. So right here, uh, I'm just going to check down third and six. I'm going to try to get this inside zone working for me to Johnson. A nice double cut. And uh, David Johnson, in my opinion, is very comparable to some of the better backs in Mutt right now. This David Johnson team of the week card. And here he run commits down. So that's interesting to note that he is willing to run commit. Uh, what I like to do right after someone run commits is run the inside zone again because just to let them know that I'm not scared uh, of what I just saw. And uh, unfortunately, when you run the inside zone a lot, what I like about Johnson is I just feel like he gets like he has breakaway speed first, but he also gets really good animations, and uh, and so that's why I really enjoy him. But second and seven, and we're going to finally be able to go to our, our key passing play here. Uh, it looks like he's in a shifting his line uh, kind of mood. So we're going to hit our nice little drive out play. I love this play. It's my favorite passing play in the game. And uh, it works to perfection there. Gets us a first down. One of the keys that I'm finding more and more, though, offensively as I play this game is it's important to run inside zones. And I say that with all due humility that I understand that inside zones are very effective. So why would you run them? Well, number one, because they're very effective. But number two, because they give you balance. And uh, and that's really the key. When you can establish that you're willing to run the ball, it sets you up for success whenever you pass the ball. Um, and so that's really why we do it. That's why we don't pass every play. 
Because realistically, I mean, I could probably pass every play and not think twice about it. But for the offense as a whole, you need that inside zone to uh, t- to do some good work for you there. Now, this table on Austin real quick. If you guys are looking to buy a halfback, if you're not wanting to spend the coins on David Johnson, but you have about 15k, I think that's about what he's going for. When I bought him, he was about 17,000 coins. But this out of position Tavon Austin is very, very good, and uh, I highly recommend him for your uh, for your squad. So there's drive out, dotting up the opponent again with a nice speed out route, and if they're not going to adjust to that, we'll walk right up and down the field with you on that. Now defensively, here I'm going to go to a little passing play. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and stay small. I'm going to go to the other side, though. I want to run it to the left, so I'm going to go to Y trips, which is just going to flip. And we're going to run inside zone here. And he goes ahead and gets a nice block shot there. A lot of guys have really, really good teams compared to me. On, uh, I guess just my offensive line is not very good. All right, so third and five. And we're able to hit the drive out for a big first down there. Most people have a hard time stopping this route. And, I mean, it's a hard route to stop. And the beauty of this is that it's very consistently effective. There, there's really only one thing that they can do to stop this route. So it makes it really good for the offense when you have a route where, like, they have to do a specific thing to stop it. In my opinion, that's the starting point for a great offense. And the key to a good offense is having a good plays. The key to great offenses is having a good scheme, a good set of plays that work together well um, for what you want. There we were late on our read. Sometimes when we um, sometimes whenever we go to this play, we, we sometimes become late on reads because of the situation. Because of like the um, positioning of the field, because we're on the left hash mark, so we don't have enough spacing. Here we're going to cross him right over the middle. And um, I'm almost positive that he's going to run commit. He's shown that he's willing to. So we're going to go to stick. We're going to put the wide receiver Keenan Allen here on a fade route. And if he runs commits, we're going to be able to easily hit Keenan Allen for a nice touchdown. And uh, that's a pretty decent drive to start off the game. Uh, not a whole lot of, I mean, we had a fourth down, but I'm okay with I'm okay with how we ended up on that one. That was a good drive for the offense, in my personal opinion. So no flat protection on that outside right. We're able to hit Johnson for a nice two-point conversion. And uh, offense is off to a good start. Hopefully the defense can bounce back and uh, play a little better on this next drive. All right, so so he's going to two running backs. Looks like he's so he's in the Saints playbook. He's got that Michael Irvin card over there. So there's that deep post. There's a little flat pass. So that's a good completion. Actually, he is he in the Ravens book? Maybe he is in the Ravens book. Fullback dive. Wow, he got wow, he's still on his feet. So now we know fullback dive from that formation. So here's Stick. He ran that the first play of the game. He's able to hit the slant read. Uh, so 
So back to I form close. He ran a white Ravens wide drag post corner there with a drag underneath. There's a there's a little quick toss. That's a good that's a good play call right there. He's gonna go ahead and get a touchdown on that. So right there, I don't really know. I I, I struggle against tight formations. I'll be the first to admit that, and it's mainly because it's really hard for me to defend them with my uh, formation the way that it's aligned. So here we're expecting fullback dive. We get fullback dive, and we just, unfortunately, we can't get in there. So that's on me. So he's going to go ahead and kind of stay pace for pace with us. Now we're going to have the opportunity to double up on him here. If we can get a good two-minute drive going, uh, and then we'll be able to maybe come out of halftime and, and, and do a good job. All right, so we'll go to shotgun tight offset tight end again. And uh, first play, what I want to do here is I want to go inside zone because we have the two-minute warning coming up right after this. Actually, I have about 15 seconds here, so I want to get two play calls in. So I'm going to go to the base play, and then I'll go to inside zone at, right up immediately after that if uh, if it's, if it's uh, a good read. So here we get David Johnson in the flat. So there, that's perfect. So now we have... Uh, just enough time, hopefully, to call an inside zone. If we can get to the line, hurry up. Johnson, hurry, Johnson, hurry, 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 hurry. And he's not going to get the playoff. That's unfortunate. That really sucks for what I really wanted to do there. Should have ran out of bounds. Would have been a wise move. That's a poor play by me. I know exactly how to throw that route against cover two. And unfortunately, I just did not execute. So here we're going to bring Amari Cooper in motion, try to run inside zone, sneak it in here for a first down. Johnson gets a nice run for us right up the gut. And then right off that, I want to go right into the... Um, He's been running cover two several times here, so I want to see if I can't catch him. And we do. We catch him in cover two. We're able to hit that deep corner out. Um, in this situation, we want to try to just take inside zones at this point because we have a really good chance to score. Uh, I like this look to run stick, so I'm going to go ahead and run it. They were able to hit Keenan Allen. And I at least want to take his timeouts with me so we don't score there. And uh, hopefully we can get him to call some timeouts. At least maybe get that opportunity. Fully expecting him to run commit. He doesn't run commit. There we did not want to score. And that's actually a really good spot to be in. We'll take a timeout with us. Honestly, here, you almost think about taking a knee. Um, but we'll go ahead and get in for six there. We just had a quick flat pass. The idea there was if he gave us the... Um, if he gave us the... Flat pass for a wide open touchdown, we'd take it. If he defended it well, then we would lose five yards, and then we'd kick a field goal. But the idea was we wanted to keep a safe pass, so a quick flat to the back. They're not going to be able to get back there. To at least, you know, they may get there to tackle it, but they're not going to pick it off if we throw it quick enough. And then their drive out, once again, showing why, in my opinion, it's the best play in the game, as it cuts us up, as it puts us up again, 16 to 15. And uh, hopefully, as a defense, we can hold them, um, hold them from scoring a touchdown here. Uh, this is where, as a defense, you have to be able to you have to be able to step up right here uh, with with one minute to go. This is a big, big, big position to be in as a defense.
Um, so the main component here is we're going to play very passive. We're just going to go two man under. Been running a lot of stick. That's a good look there. So we see that flat pass, and that's something that we haven't really done a good job of here. So I'm going to get these guys subbed in here. So I want Peters there, and then I want McCourty here up top. So here I have this post route with Kirksey, user to defend that. There's the rollout. We're going to click down on that quarterback spy, get a huge sack. And we're going to go ahead and take a timeout here. Maybe I have an opportunity to get a field goal uh, in this third and nine situation. And uh, the, the script is kind of flipped, if you will. And, uh, and hopefully we can make something happen here. So there McCourty makes a really good play in the secondary to break up that vertical pass. And we have him in a fourth and nine situation. Uh, if he does not punt here, he's not going. I mean, this is a really big decision if he decides to go for it. Uh, it looks like he is going to go ahead and decide to go for it here. Um, so we're going to do our patented four verticals defense here. And we got Peters in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And unfortunately, he completes it. That's kind of frustrating because um, we had him. So same play, four verticals. Again, there's a big sack. So there's Peters and Ginn in coverage. This time he breaks it up. we got a third and 18 here. This is where we have to play it safe. I don't really like this position to be in, but uh, we have to do it. No quarterback spy. Though. That's going to hurt us. So there we have double coverage. And Devin McCourty makes a huge interception. So that's a big play by Devin McCourty there. And now the offense has an opportunity to really make some things happen. All right, so offensively here, we're going to take a shot and see what we can get. And we throw an interception. Oh, my gosh. Mark. So, right there, I got hit as I threw. And, oh, that's so frustrating. That's 100% my fault. And that's why. Gosh, that's so nasty. Gosh, dang it. So, that I made a terrible mistake there. I actually had the read. It was open. I was going to get a big play. But, honestly, right there, it. I'm up one possession. I have the opportunity to go up two possessions if I get ball at half. That's where I have to sit on the ball. I have to just kneel it out. And uh, unfortunately, I got a little greedy, and you see that it came back to bite me. So that's a good opportunity for us to kind of learn. In that type of situation where you're winning by one possession, you have the opportunity to get ball at half and go up by two possessions. You do not, and under any circumstances, risk that. There's no reason to you sit on the ball. And unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way there, but hopefully you guys will be able to learn from my mistake. That's a really big uh, situation there that just came up, so hopefully you guys can learn from that. So here goes to press man coverage, and we're able to hit them into the quick flats there with... Um, with David Johnson for an easy pickup. Second and two, we're just going to try to break an inside zone here. And 
good run by Johnson. I'm telling you, I really like Johnson. I like the way he runs. I feel like he's kind of my kind of running back where he has the uh, trucking ability to be very effective against, um, you know, those underneath guy, undersized guys. So tries to give you a heavy blitz again. We're able to hit Sanders uh, for an easy pickup. Here we're going to go to trail up and offset. We're going to go to the play verticals. We're going to block our running back. We're going to put Sanders here on a drag route and see what we can get. So he goes to press man. We're going to have to throw that away. We almost threw another interception. So both times we've gone to the play verticals, we've been awful. So here, easy read. We're going to try to um, hit an inside zone. We're actually going to flip it, though, and run it to the other side. And we're not going to get anything. Go to the bunch week for the first time here. If he goes press man coverage, he's probably got a shot at stopping us, but... I don't know that he's going to. Yeah, bit zone. That's what I thought was going to be covered too. We're able to hit Keenan Allen, and he drops the freaking ball. Pathetic execution. That guy wide open, and he just dropped it. Oh my gosh! We called the wrong play. <sighs> We're all over the place here. This is a big. Uh, the reason I go for this on fourth and eight is because. Well, we're not going to even get over it. So we got to go ahead and go. We got to snap it. And we're going to get a delay game. Awful. We're going to go ahead and punt this ball. That's a really, really bad last three minutes of football by us. Really, really bad. Hopefully the defense can save us. The offense has been awful. Get a good punt. We're gonna get him down to the four. As a defense, we've got to step up once again and play some good football. So expecting fully for four verticals or inside zone. He goes to stick here. I'm going to push him in there. That was a pretty good little play there. I pushed that. I thought he was going to the flat route. He ended up going to the tight end route. But I was going to try to use her that and just kind of try to force him to go to the other plays. And uh, we were able to get something to happen. So here I'm expecting either a fullback dive or a quick toss. Goes fullback dive. We're going to stand tall against it. That's not too bad for me. I mean, we gave up two yards. You know, of course, in inches, you don't want to give up anything. But for that situation, that's not too bad. So here's verticals. McCourty makes a great play again in coverage. And we're able to get off the field as a defense here. We've got him in fourth and eight. Um, so luckily the defense really stood up there and made a great play. The offense has got to get its act together. We look so great on the first two drives. And then the second one, we or the third and fourth, we have not looked very good on. So Tavon Austin here. Terrible return. So, let's see what we can do here. Probably going to go to a um, PA seams here. like that look for what we're getting ready to go into. It's been running a lot of press, man. So it goes to two man under. We're able to get Emmanuel Sanders wide open, and uh, and he's going to work his way across the formation. I really like a look here for verticals. He 
goes to man, and our tight end Jordan Reed is able to beat his man over the middle of the field for a big first down there. So that is honestly that's more of a tempo. The fact that the offense had such good tempo right there is really what happened uh, as to why that was able to work. So. So it goes to man. We're able to get him and catch him in man coverage there with a nice man beater. And David Johnson is going to get into the end zone for six. That's a really good – that's a big drive there for the offense um, because in so many ways it really rejuvenated and reestablished itself as a as a force to be reckoned with here. And uh, we have the opportunity to go up by six. Goes to man coverage. We're able to hit Johnson in the flat on the table route. And we are cooking right now offensively. Hopefully we can continue to be strong on the defensive side of the ball. Going with the high kick here to see what we can do. I'm trying to get more hit sticks on special teams. So, man, we missed an open field tackle, and that's going to give him 20 more yards. We can't miss open field tackles. That's, that's, that's where you get killed in this game. All right, so trying to go to some man coverage. He hits an underneath drag where his guy just flat out beats my guy. And we're going to have to – so he's going to go ahead and – So there, McCourty comes off on that Sam Mike three seam. Does a nice job at stopping the run. He hasn't gone to that strong eye yet. So, you know, you're just thinking of the basic standard stuff. Corner out to the tight end. And um, inside zone run scheme. There we come down on that drag. And, uh, and make a nice play. We've seen that play several times. Why shallow cross? And uh, we were able to make something happen. So here we're going to send some heavy pressure and see what we can do. Uh, I'm kind of expecting verticals here. We're able to get McCourty in the seam. That should have been an interception in my opinion. But unfortunately we weren't able to finish him off. So we're going to have fourth down. And we're probably probably just going to go with a standard. Cover three here. So there we are. Oh, man. He caught that in, like, the weirdest animation possible. I don't know what Levante David was thinking on that play. So this is where the defense really has to make its money. It has to stop opponents in the red zone. And uh, any good defense, that's the key to success, is stopping red zone offenses. There we get a delay game. That's going to help us out a little bit. So 
So there's Stick. He's going to try to get a one-on-one -on -one match up there with the corner. We're able to make the tackle. And... So goes to stick again. There's a slant. He's going to scramble with luck. We're able to use a quarterback spy, and we click down and make a tackle. So we've got him in a third and seven. And um, we're going to go to some heavy man pressure here. So we're going to go to pinch. And we get completely clicked off our guy. That it confused him, though. It confused him, and that's the key. If you saw there, we had been running zone pressure pretty much all game. We we changed it up on that play and went to man. And the man pressure really challenged him. Uh, so fourth and 15... What we want to do here is we want to sit back and we want to say beat two man under for 15 yards. Um, and that's really what we're going to say is beat two man under for 15 yards. And what we're going to do here is some basic coverage, pass committing. There's crossing patterns. We're going to stay down. Aaron Lynch makes the game saving play with a SWAT down. We had the tackle there as well, even if he completed the pass. And we are going to get out of here with a W. So that's a pretty decent game to show you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, as long as we get a couple first downs here, we're going to get out of this game uh, with, a, with a win. So there's Emmanuel Sanders again. And there's the drive out route looking great as always. And checking down to the tray open offset looking to hit an inside zone here. Inside zone read. Easy run. And we'll see if he starts taking timeouts. He's trying to save them, I think, because he, he knows our offense so well that he knows the pace. So there we're able to hit Johnson in the flat. He tries to send some heavy pressure. We're going to hit Johnson in the flat. We're going to use that nice stiff arm and, uh, and get some good yardage there. So overall, not too bad of a game. We had a couple of mistakes that I wish we could take back. But for the most part, the offense looked pretty decent. Uh, we only had two bad possessions. And they were able to use a touch pass. We're going to go ahead and just slide down. And looks like he's probably going to go ahead and concede defeat. So, guys, if you want the offense and defense you're seeing, be on the lookout for our guides. You can check out some of those concepts. A lot of the same stuff are in the guides below, and uh, you'll be able to get access to that. But, guys, I want to go ahead and thank you personally for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And, uh, guys, also, if you have any questions related to Madden 16 that you need help on, leave those in the comments, and I'll try to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you're good day.